My friends, welcome back. I'm Daily Fix, and we are playing as Cologne. Now we have been at war here with England for I can't remember how long. Um, we've successfully uh, repelled some of their troops, and I'm quite uh, pleased with that. Last time we changed our artillery because we actually need four in order to get. Uh, two siege bonuses, so yeah, that's quite unfortunately, but not something that we can deal with now England's Navy is just horrible and we cannot deal with it. That's the only thing that is Just keeping this war alive. I guess they could have already pieced out Portugal They choose not to they could have made a peace deal with England for these territories over here and things would have been okay. Perhaps they will just take a part of Portugal. It's actually quite rare, uh, rare to see uh, Castile fighting Portugal. And perhaps I would be interested in doing like a Castile play in the future. But for now I think uh, it's all more than enough. Now we need to make sure that we reinforce. Otherwise things are just going to be quite annoying and there is little we can do now as you can see we're getting very close to the cap uh, how far is that technology it's still negative negative five so i'm actually considering doing development more and let's take a look on where our low province like 10 what else is it? five oh that that should be cheap so what kind of territory is this so Brunswick, so 11 and 5, and the other one is these 3, okay, so 8, 6, and 9, not the most cheap to develop, but is considering we could get um, some discount with it, uh, I think we are going to do that, so let us promote um, development, that will increase the uh, state maintenance we quite a bit, quite a bit, and let's just develop a tiny bit until we get around uh, probably 600 is uh, is more than enough. Let's see what's the cheapest one. So that's you. Let's bring you up to eight, like ten, and let's bring you up here as well. So this should do. A big difference to 25 do we notice anything I kind of hope <laughs> kind of hope we do um, yeah it, it did improve it did improve once our forces are no longer reinforcing that should change a lot of this and the development well it's not too bad there is salt which is uh, quite nice Let's get rid of this. What else can we do? So we still need to wait until this this navy is just annoying. Six heavies just sitting there. Just heavy ships. Uh, that's never a good thing. So where do we want to move our troops? Uh, well, at least we want to respond once we see that the troops are crossing. Even though they don't get a negative crossing, um, which is something also let's get a claim more on Gelra unfortunately we cannot go to war let's take a look here everywhere else I kind of want to start claiming over here as well even though he is a free city I believe are you still a free city or are you now just a republic really are you being helped let's get rid of you we don't need you anymore so let's take a look here to Oldenburg. No, Bremen. Yeah, you don't appear to be as a free city, which is interesting. Now you're part of the trade league. That is semi annoying. Um, let's see over here. We can claim also on this. So let's build up more spy network and just wait. It is a waiting game until the AI feels ready to peace out Portugal <laughs> please peace out Portugal this is so obnoxious um, but we can just um, raid everywhere I guess might as well do so uh, we could spread out all of our trips as long as we take into effect that we uh, want to make sure that we don't get too much attrition 
So we could just place people around here. How much is still left here? Uh, we have Florence as a new arrival, apparently. And there's those transports again. So we know that they are about to send in new troops. And just send them in from here and just land somewhere over here. So as soon as we see that, we'll have to work and make sure that they don't. Uh, Prestige is finally getting close to a positive. Power projection, I would like to see that above 50. Since there would be increasing all of our monarch points with 1. Uh, that's still a bit high. Still negative 5. Institution penalty is quite annoying. Um, yeah, well, what can we do about it, huh? Not that much. Let's see, income is above 10. So if we were to take this, we would... Well, no, we won't. We have renewed a loan. Unfortunately, there is little we can do about it at this point. And we're making one eight, one, almost two ducats. Which is not too bad. If I say so myself. So we're just standing here, not doing anything. Please, please, <laughs> peace out the bloody Portugal. Oh, this makes no sense. Uh, the thing is, if, if I if I go towards London, right, I will have to face whatever troops they have left. And that's still 40k. And yes, there are troops in the Caribbean. And maybe the most of them are there. So, war angle, let's see. They still have a total of 35,000 troops somewhere around here. And that is extremely scary. I don't want to deal with that. I really do not want to deal with that. I do want to deal with Gelra and perhaps go towards um, Leech. Uh, but that will get us well, get quite close to Burgundy. Is there anything that we can do with Burgundy? Influence relations? No. Stop improving? No, definitely not. I want to make sure we stay on the improvement game. Ah, this is semi-frightening. So, we're making 2.5. Quite nice. Yeah, we, we need to get rid... What, again? Why? Why do I keep getting this? Lose prestige. Or lose devotion. Uh, both is equally annoying. Let's see. I kind of feel that we'll go for the prestige hit this time. Uh, there is still unrest. It's building up. So maybe we'll just have to deal with that. Let's start sending them over to Brunswick. And let's deal with the rebels. Uh, let's not care about this. Yes, I will take a hit here because we're not raiding anymore. Uh, but I wonder what they will do. What are the English going to do? And I think that they will probably start sending in troops now that uh, my guys are just moving out. So we're going to be suppressing rebels. Or shall we just allow them to, uh, to hit? You know what? Let's allow them to spring. I think it's easier to deal with them uh, than anything else. We do have more tech. Cologne. Wow, what's this? Why? In Groningen and... It's just Groningen. Why? Yes, unrest is building. Hmm. It is somewhat annoying. But like I said, we'll just deal with them. Let's just send them over here. And let's train. Let's just tr drill the army. And there's, there's little else we can do. Uh, because as long as we are stuck in this damn war nothing is changing and we're just watching to see what the hell is going on look they're building up troops here again uh, and i wish that i could actually do something about my fleet austria please pay off my loans i would really be happy about that ah man we'll just have to wait just have to wait and see uh, oh, there we go. So they've been raiding. Damn. That's really not what I want to see. 
Hmm. What can we do with you? No diplomats. Only to, yeah. This, this this is almost like the perfect time to deal with Gelra. It will break my alliance with yeah, but perhaps we could actually um, get them as a vessel. That would be a very nice vessel. I think I, they might be a bit too strong. I kind of don't want to take the prestige hit. What is my church power at the moment? So, 31. I'm okay with that. Let's not take the prestige hit. We're now negative 26. Slowly building up. Still negative 5. Let's do a tiny bit more development. Here with the salt. And just slowly build that up. Uh, as long as we don't go below 600, I'm uh, I'm probably going to be okay. 44 in base tax. We're making one, which is very nice because once we lower like army maintenance, it's probably going to be like four, which is quite nice. Uh, as soon as we start construction of new property, we'll take this and we'll probably we'll just have to make sure we get five churches and five workshops. And look at this. We must have 2,000 gold. What an insane amount. It's insane in my mind. Uh, it's probably not. <laughs> but uh, yeah. That's just me. Can't do anything over here. Mm, this will lose them 20. That's below 40. We'll have to make sure that we'll uh, get some support going. And then we can demand the admin. So we'll just have to wait. I don't see anything happening. What the hell is going on guys? Just peace out, Portugal. Come on. Like, everyone is starting to join. Infantry cost. Um, we get the poor iron. Ah, well, I don't think we actually have iron. Do we? I don't know. So, the Brunswick rebels are going to be springing alive. Actually, what we should do is build up infantry a tiny bit more so at least if these rebels spring like 15k we get close enough to deal with it also are we going to take because we actually have a a good deal of inflation here let's take a look let's pause it for a second um can we actually see How much the inflation is actually costing us. So 5.5 here in inflation. So 1% would be 3. That's 15. 0 0.15. State maintenance. No. Fort maintenance is increased as well by 5. So that's even less. That's 5. That's 0 0.20. Army maintenance, don't see any inflation in here. Fleet maintenance, we could probably just move the fleet maintenance down to get more money. Uh, because, well, we are not moving these guys out. Let's just be very frank with that. You know what, since we are just doing this, let's just do it. Let's see what it will change. Ooh, wow. Maybe this is not such a bad idea after all. There we go, we'll take both of them. We are below two. And we're making 1.37 now. So let's get two regiments as soon as we can. So we'll have to wait one more tick. And we get to 10 infantry, 2 cavalry, 1 artillery. And once our economy is stronger, we'll have to deal with um, with getting more cannons. Getting, getting them up to 4. Hmm... So there we go, that's another 10. Let's go and do this. Uh, we're going to keep the drilling up. Because we're now drilling and that is at a reduced cost, of course, of the uh, army maintenance. Uh, but still. Military is still low. And we probably are going to be finishing this uh, trade before getting something else although i don't want to fall behind on this so we could also just wait for the negative five 
and still get this idea group to work getting the land force limit modifier i think it's quite nice a lower impact on stability during the diplomatic relations because we're breaking a lot of alliances let's see uh let's pause it for a second let's go hmm so we lost a claim on these guys which is somewhat annoying and unfortunate so why do we have to pay war exhaust okay so the war exhaust is making it so that we can't buy it at uh, can we get rid of the war exhaust I'm sure we can we can reduce it here by two and is improve oh wow that's nothing yeah show subject revolts Oh man, if we could just set, if this war would finish, oh, I could uh, do the exploration that I always wanted. Again, what's this? Immoral prices. Negative 20 with the burgers. Uh, 11 peasants will rise up in Friesland. I don't like it that they gain that loyalty or that influence the 15 is nice though uh, but we don't have the money yet we can just save it let's just save it for a bit and we'll just see what will happen still what are the English doing so are we still getting no we are dropping are we dropping? I think we are. So, Rebel Uprising in Brunswick. Uh, I think it's time to get the army maintenance. Well, actually get them off. What's this? Stop collecting war tax. Uh, do we need it? It's just modifiers. And these modifiers have an impact on my troop limit. Not really. Okay, we need to stop drilling, I guess. No, actually, we'll wait. And once again, another loan renewal. Oh, that is so obnoxious. So, I want to wait until we get 19 ducats. Let's see. It, we just want to go to 20. That's all that I care for. Then we'll lower army maintenance and just see what else is going to happen. Can we not ask, like, Spain just to deal with it? Oh, damn. They, they really don't like me at the moment. Oh, well. We took the hit. It's fine. It is fine. We'll just have to wait for, I think, like, 10 years. So, this is about to trigger. Let's stop drilling. Build up. There we go. And we'll deal with them. Let's go over here for now. And build up on morale. Oh, they will have a advantage. Oh, actually, they will have a negative. Can we not go in there? Actually, we could go in here and deal with these uh, rebel factions. I don't see the need to, though. But, hey, there are possibilities. We don't actually have to kill these right away. But we do want to make sure that our morale is completely filled. So, till that happens, we just have to wait. Okay, one of my guys is idle. Uh, you were doing what? Allies. Let's get rid of you. And let's just go with neighbors. So, and we're going to get, to get a claim on Hanover. And we're almost there. My general should be... Well, he's not good. That's for sure. He's not the worst. But he's not good. Let's take a look here. So you finally started ticking. 
Okay, let's deal with this. One of my advisors apparently died. Yearly prestige, national tax modifier and production efficiency. No, that's a plus two. I don't have the money for this. I wish. I wish I could get those. Stability cost modifier would be nice. National tax plus 10%. Or yearly prestige. Plus one. Well, prestige would be very nice. Plus 10% is um, not bad, I actually. 0 0.50, 0 0.60 a month. So, actually, it's probably... Yeah, it's, I think it's 0 0.56. So, that is almost 6 ducats a year. And this guy will cost me... Well, definitely a lot more. And I think the prestige is going to be way better. Unfortunately, yeah... I can watch that this stuff, but I don't have the money for it. Ah, oh, man. Next tick will make more money. That is for sure. We get a negative one uh, due to the river crossing. Uh, but our troops should be more superior than theirs. And we should be killing them. So we won. Let's make sure that this will not happen again. Now we're going to be reinforcing. That's why we are taking such a negative. But uh, seriously, this war, guys... It is obnoxious. It truly is annoying. So negative two. That that is not fair. They did get the fort. Ah, England is now all by itself. Are we going to get anything from this? Oh, another advisor died. No. Seriously, I don't have that money. <laughs> I don't have money for this. Stop doing this. Uh, let's get the army. We have new troops. Mm. What do we want? So that's all the same. Let's just go for these. Latin and Knights could now finally change. And in the shock? No. Yeah, this is quite annoying. Any other missions fulfilled? No. Oh man, we're going to take a negative hit, are we? Okay, uh, well, here's what we can do. Lower this. So we don't go into the negative. And we should be still okay doing the siege, right? Yeah, we are. Yeah, that's fine actually. So England is the only one in. And Castile took two provinces, I think. Let's see, is the unrest quite high? Yeah, at least he took this. As well as this. So two provinces then. Uh, he's been eating away at Portugal. He's been good, doing quite nicely. So they will now be starting to focus on England, I hope. But this war could still take forever. So can we just piece this out? Uh, we lost a claim against these guys. Let's get a claim on you. Let's get you back. Let's get you back. Actually, no. You should still uh, increase the spy network. And increase spy network over there as well. I think we're going to be running on low army maintenance for a while. And just make sure we get money. We need to repay those loans. This, this is annoying. Uh, we could also debase currency. That gives us money, but also corruption. Influence elections will gain money and corruption or prestige. Um, I kind of want the money. A peace offer from England. 
Are you going to piece me out? Uh, let us decline. I don't need a negative hit with my allies. War exhaust. Negative one. Why? Because we took this? No, don't bullshit me game. Don't bullshit me. Uh, that's still fine. So how much do we pay in corruption? Rooting out corruption, where we can root out one for 4.47 a year. So debasing currency, we would have to spend about 50. But we would get two corruption and not one. So two years. So this is not worth it. So we're not going to. Uh, we do want to get some advisors back since uh well we now lose we lost two of them let's get this and also we should get rid of this edict army professionalism plus three thank you very much we're getting very close come on with this please just surrender there you go, that's that's better. So, go here. And uh, we should make a good profit again. Truces will expire, which is unfortunate. Ah, man, the money is annoying. Uh, let's get this fort unmaintained. Since we don't need it. Can we can we declare war now again, please? No diplomats to send. I don't think we can actually declare war. Because I would like to go... Oh, finally. Finally, this dumb war stops. Uh, let's see. And they took... Yeah, they took this terrain. Yeah, Castile is getting... Uh, Something. We got favors with Castile. Which is nice. It, it, it is not bad. And we're making monies. So. Are we going to drill. Until we hit. 20. Kind of think we do. Why are we losing so much money? It's due to the corruption. There we go, we're making 2.14 now, the corruption being out. And we can now start declaring again, and I would like to get at least one vessel. Verden and East Frisia. East Frisia being with Denmark. Yeah, we could call Castile in to get Munster. Get some actual territory, what is the development? Yeah, okay. It's Protestant, so it would be my religion. Same for goes for these. So, you are allied with Oldenburg and Lorania. Oh, now Galra. I like that. We could pro probably do a few wars. Even though we're quite low. We could actually take all of their money. Ah, that's something I need to think about. Let's get Verde back since we're, that's not going to happen. Let's take a look here before ending the episode. Burgundy would go in and help me with... Uh, refusing. Why? Uh, we got some favors, right? Okay, so Galra is out. Don't want to face Burgundy. How about this? Thierre would go in with us, and he would face Hesse, and we would have to face Gelre. If we can knock out, oh no, actually Munster, if we can knock out Munster, um, we'll take this territory. We're getting very close at the next step, and that is of course Cleves. But do we actually... <sighs> do we want a vessel? We could just take this. 
Uh, because we have a state in here, don't we? What state are you from? Yeah, this would actually fulfill my state. And it's big. And that would be quite a nice amount of money. We'll have to deal with the rebels. Uh, but we're just bleeding them dry. Everything that they will have is just for monies. So who was going to help you again? Leech. Who the hell is Leech again? Where? What kind of troops do you have? So, 8k. I can deal with that. If I can get my troops in here, immediately attack Munster, take care of their forces. Tia would go in and take Hesse on. And that would just leave Leech troops. We can just siege this down relatively fast. I think that is the way to go, guys. So, stop drilling. Build up on maintenance. We're making six. Holy shit. Ah, that's not right. But, yeah, we need to increase the army maintenance. Actually, just losing eight. Guys, next episode, we are going to war with Munster. So... We have um, permanent claims, I hope. Do we have actually have claims? Let's humiliate rival. That's not what I want. Let's get... That build up. So, once this builds up to... 20. We'll have a good cause to go to war. We'll take both of it. We'll knock out Munster. And that will bring us one step closer to Burgundy. Also, East Frisia. Yeah, it's still Denmark, which is quite scary. Burgundy and Cleves. Um, this is actually not too bad, but they do have a trade league, which makes it worse. Denmark. Bomifia is actually allied with France. Now, considering France, uh, France is not doing too well. France is just down to 20k. He is about my level. Quite shortly. <laughs> That's funny though. Anyways guys. Thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Hope to see you next time. Have a good one. Bye bye.